Hello YouTube, this is Ben Gessel. Um, this is just kind of me, uh, hopefully not too long a video. Um, I wanted to mention just something, again, yeah, this is just a kind of um, one of the, I guess you could say, I don't know, comparatively shorter dreams. I don't know. I had, um, last dream I had last night, um, I guess you could say early, very early this morning. Um, but basically, um, uh, I, I think that there's a, something to this that I think, you know, goes beyond just, you know, the realm of dreams and fantasy and, you know, subconscious, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Um, so I remember being at some kind of government building of some sort or some kind of building that had to do with paying something that was very not fun. And or something. I don't think it was a ticket or anything like that. Could have been like a traffic, um, or it could have been a vehicle emission place. Could have been um, just like a, I don't know, a post office or something. I don't know. Some, some government building of some sort. And so it was hard enough trying to find, because I guess there's a lot of different um, departments in this one building or it's hard of trying to find the place that I was supposed to pay something or do something at this place. It could have been voter registration for all I know. I mean <laughs> it's just all kinds of stuff there. And and so I you know actually I don't even remember if I paid it or not because I was trying to um it was hard of trying to find a parking spot that was not disability parking spot or 15 minutes only or the half hour only I don't know you know or, or metered or you know, I had to pay so uh, just finding a nice parking spot was hard enough all the, the main thing I remember about this this dream was as far as this you know the sequence was when I was trying to leave this place I would, you know for whatever reason um or get somewhere I needed to go maybe I would, could have been the wrong building. Um, I was trying to go through this um, two-lane thing with something like an arching, something arching over it. So I, I couldn't really get to the shoulder uh, very, there was no shoulder in, in this area. So the thing is though, so I was coming from trying to go through it and it was a one-way kind of thing going out and it's trying to get into leftmost lane, going out through this kind of tunnel thing, and there was there were these cars that were going by. I kept going by in the right lane, into this one lane. I guess the other lane, maybe it was in England. I don't know. Cause <laughs> to to we were driving on the. I was going to go on the left lane, and the right lane could have been opposite moving traffic, I can't remember, but maybe I just could get over that far. Maybe it was one way, but I couldn't get over that far to the other lane to get out. So, um, I, I kept trying to get into this lane to get out, but there were cars that kept getting in the way. And I finally angled out a little bit, but then this car like, smashed into me somehow, and um, somehow I was okay. So I think the car kind of, we both kind of got out of there because he just kind of got over to the right lane a little bit that no car was there for a second. And I kind of got out okay. But I think he took off the, um, whatever happened to my car, like the hood was gone and like the canopy or whatever was gone. It was just my engine, <laughs> engine head and wheels and so every, all the for some reason all the mechanics everything was working just the the body the um, so the body i guess wasn't the chassis but it was it was all there it was just the the exterior was gone <laughs> and you know he didn't even stop he didn't even do anything he kept going it's like Wah! i woke up and i was like you know i wonder if this has something to do with a section of a freeway that I'm very familiar with um, that I've driven down a fair bit quite a bit over the last few years I-405 
I-405 in south of Bellevue. It is unbelievably, unbelievably, like, it's, it's hard. <laughs> I, oh, it's so unsafe. It is, and it's so frustrating. It's, it's, the, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a zoo. And if you're in the wrong lane, um, there's a, a lane going to Seattle and a lane going to Spokane. And another carpool lane, I think, to, or something like that. To the, no, carpool lane to the other side. And there's like, anyway. So there's, there's two, these two lanes on the right side of the freeway. I'm sorry, people talking in the rest of the house. So then you have three, uh, at least no, two other lanes. So you have these two lanes going the other direction on I-90, heading south. And they're going to go, these two lanes are going to just go, they're, they're exit only onto I-90, but west and east. And then these other two lanes, you know, it, it could be that they're, at one time of day, the traffic's moving, right? But if you have a backup on I-90, what happens, of course, this is the same thing with um, certain sections of I-90 itself, say, going eastbound or uh, west, I know... The Mercer Island area on I-90 is it can be like this too, but um, what you end up having is you have end up having a, you know, cars are stationary more or less, or just stop and go, and then you have in the very next lane, cars are going 60, <laughs> 65. So if you have a car that, you know, if you have someone that is like, oh crap, I'm in the wrong lane, he has to find a exit onto that lane with that, that's open without a car smashing into him but he has to calculate enough time to accelerate very quickly and get out of that lane before the car behind him smashes him and then he also has to at simultaneously keep his eyes on the road in front of him because there may be a car that puts on its brakes as well or maybe stops as, as well maybe it's a stop and go thing a little bit as well do you see how unsafe this kind of thing is? And, and you know, it's one of thousands, tens of thousands of of complaint issues I think should be brought up to the Washington state government. And, you know, and this is just a dream, but dreams reflect real life. And yeah, I you know I've had some time, some situations. You know, I don't remember how I got out of it. I think um, I had to wait until the traffic in the lanes were. It wasn't too long, but I had to wait until the traffic and the other lanes were slowing down or they were kind of, you know, getting a little bit more packed in somewhat before I was able to sit, or the car let me in before I was, you know, felt safe enough to like, go over the other lane. Um, but, you know, I suppose I could always try to remember, oh boy, when I'm driving in this time of day, I need to get make sure I'm in the farthest, you know, two lanes next to the carpool lane. You know, in the section of I-405. Otherwise, I might be stuck in this, you know, thing where people are going to Spokane and whatever. You know. It's, uh, yeah. So, I said this before, I'll say it again. There are a lot of really absolutely berserk drivers out there um, that should not be driving. Or, you know, put them in a race car, an Indy 500. Put them in a Fast and Furious movie. Just don't have them, have it just illegal for them to drive. Because they're putting other people's lives in danger. When they're going 80 miles per hour, especially, they're tailgating, especially when it's, it's really busy traffic like that, or stop and go, it's, that's a traffic jam waiting to happen. Well, that's a traffic accident waiting to happen. As in a lethal accident that could actually kill who knows how many people. Boom, 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 boom. A bunch of cars just smashing into each other. Because of one dork, they didn't even... He was going way too fast in a very congested area. All right, that's my traffic grant for the day. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>